Hey, how's it going? Matt Wolf here from Hustle and Flowchart. We just did something really exciting with our business and we opened up a Discord community. We're actually trying to move our community off of Facebook and over onto Discord. We're not huge fans of the Facebook groups. It's kind of hard to engage. It's uh, hard to hold conversations. It's hard to share relevant links without them getting moved down the feed where people can't find them anymore. And we just wanted a better, more organized way to engage with the community and share cool stuff that's going on that you're gonna find valuable. And we personally believe that Discord is the absolute best place for that. So now we have a Discord community set up for our group. And I wanted to make a real quick video to kind of walk you through the Git Discord group. Now this group is going to be an evolving group. There's going to be links that change on the left sidebar and you're going to see it evolve over time. So if you're watching this video and you know this video came out a couple months ago, then things are most likely a little bit different inside of the Discord, but the general idea will be the same, all right? So let's dive into how to actually use this. So first of all, if you don't have Discord, you're going to need to go download Discord. It's a free tool. It, when you first get into it, it kind of feels like a Slack type tool, but go to discord.com and download it for whatever computer you have. If you have a Mac, it'll say download for Mac here. If you have a PC, it'll say download for PC. So go ahead and download Discord now for free over at discord.com. That's step number one. Once you get inside of Discord, you're going to be creating a username and password and doing all that kind of normal stuff. Create a profile pic, and you will see this hustle and flow chart icon over on the left. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, this icon could look slightly different, but it's gonna be something related to hustle and flow chart. Ignore these icons below hustle and flow chart. These are other servers that I'm involved in that have nothing to do with hustle and flow chart. So just look for the one hustle and flow chart server. That's where all of the group and community engagement is going to be. All right, so once you get inside of the hustle and flow chart group, it might look a bit overwhelming at first, but I'm gonna walk you through it real quick. So there are multiple sections in the left sidebar here. These are different areas of either resources or communication. So let's just kind of start at the top. Up at the top, you can see how many total members are in the Discord community. There are currently, as of recording this video, 33 members, and there are currently 10 members online. Now, if you wanna know which members are online, if you look over to the right sidebar over here, you can see all of the members that are online. Uh, I am eFlow, eFlow is W-O-L-F-E backwards, E-F-L-O-W is just my name backwards, and then Joe Fear is Joe Evolved. So if you ever see messages from eFlow or Joe Evolved, that is us, Hustle and Flowchart, we're under this category here. You can see the other people that are online here. There are some bots in here, you can ignore the bots. The bots do things like pull in the total number, uh, pull in the total online members, uh, add some tags for people, things like that. So the bots are just kind of doing some things in the background to make things run smoother here. But you can see all the various people that are online. You can click on any one person, see what roles they have. You can even send them private messages if they have messages turned on. If you have a conversation with this person, and uh, let's say with Brooke, I had a great conversation about crypto or something. I could put a note here saying, loves crypto, and then just leave that note there, and then later on, when I go and look at Brooke, I'll see my note here that says love crypto. So you can actually almost use it like a CRM. As you have conversations with people, you can make little notes about those people so you can remember past conversations that you had with them. So pretty cool stuff there. So you got your total members, your online members, and then there's this section here called information. There might be more links coming in the future. Right now, these are the links that are available. First is the rules section. As you can see, it's not built out yet. As right after I make this video, I'm gonna actually add the rules into the rules section. But as of now, it's empty. But when you first jump in, jump in and check out the rules section because that's gonna have all of what you can and can't do in the group. Uh, most of it's gonna be fairly intuitive, stuff that you would expect. <laughs> Next section here is the announcements. Uh, we're going to use this section sparingly, but whenever there's important info that we want you to know, check the announcements section. That's where the, the big info is gonna be. If we're speaking at a conference and we want people to know about it, we'll post it in the announcements. If we're gonna do a live event inside of our Discord, we'll post it in the announcements. If we're about to do a live stream on YouTube that everybody should watch, we'll post it in the announcements. Uh, if we're doing some sort of meetup and we want everybody to come hang out, it'll be in the announcements. We're planning on launching an NFT uh, early next year. When we do launch that NFT, all the details will be in the announcements. 
If you do nothing else in the Discord group, if you sign up for the Discord group and you don't want to look in any of the other channels that are going on inside of the Discord group, and you only want to do one thing only, log in and check in on the announcements on probably a daily basis. That's where the, the most relevant information to the most amount of people is going to be. We'll always post it in the announcements, okay? So if you do only one thing with Discord, just log in and see if there's any new announcements for you to pay attention to. All right, next is official links. This is where we'll always post links to relevant stuff that would be interesting to you. You know, Hustle and Flowchart on YouTube, our website, if you want to find it on Apple, Spotify, uh, link to Podhacker and link to me and Joe both on Twitter. Uh, that's the social media of choice where we engage probably the most. And so those are relevant links. This will get built out over time as there's more links that we find that will be relevant to you. Latest videos. This is a section that'll just post whenever there's a new YouTube video that goes live. So the Hustle and Flowchart YouTube videos, this is just a notification area that will let you know, hey, there's a new YouTube video live, go check it out. Latest audios, same thing. Whenever a new audio podcast goes live, it will go into the latest audio section. And keep in mind lately, we are actually, the, the podcast audio and the podcast video are no longer the same. We'll, we'll still have, let's say, for example, Marshall Silver on the podcast, but what you see on the video version on YouTube and what you hear on the audio version on Apple or Spotify are actually going to be slightly different. We're editing them completely different so that you're getting one experience on YouTube and a different experience on audio. And we're also doing some audio only episodes. For instance, this one here called We Can't Ignore This Anymore and Neither Should You. This episode specifically is only audio. There's no YouTube video. So if you're into the podcast and, and consuming the content that we're putting out, make sure you're checking both the videos and the audios because they aren't the same stuff. All right. So that's something that's kind of been a newer change. We've been experimenting with the types of content we're putting out. All right, general chat, this is exactly what it sounds like. You can feel free to chat about anything. This is, to be honest, where probably most of the conversations are gonna happen. There's only two things you do when you check into Discord. Check into the announcements section to see if there's any big important details you're going to need to know. Second thing, maybe check into the general chat, see what people are talking about in the community, what, what's got people lit up at the moment, and that'll be a good way to keep your finger on the pulse. So everything under this information section is really what you want to pay the most attention to. And then everything below this is kind of just if you want to go down deeper rabbit holes, right? So this Web3 section, Web3 is kind of the term they're using these days that encompasses um, cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology and decentralized finance and crypto gaming and NFTs and all of that kind of stuff is all sort of lumped under, under Web3 these days. So... We have chat rooms for very specific topics related to Web3. We'll probably add more over time, maybe even remove some of these if we find people don't use them that much. But uh, anything Web3, this is just going to be general topics about anything related to Web3. So cryptocurrencies, NFTs, blockchain articles about that kind of stuff that will go into anything Web3. NFT talk, anything that you want to talk or learn about NFTs will be going on in this channel. DeFi, that's decentralized finance. That's where uh, you kind of go and stake money. You, you take money, put it into a cryptocurrency, stake it, and then earn basically a percentage yield off of that uh, through the staking. You actually earn uh, reward coins as a thank you for staking, essentially. That's DeFi. Coin talk, we'll talk about various altcoins and Bitcoin and Ethereum and things like that. And then Web3 resources, this is where we'll share links to tools that we use. So again, a lot of this is still getting built out as I make this video, but Web3 resources, it will be like, here's where you go and trade NFTs. Here's where you can buy these various altcoins. Here's where you can get involved in various NFT projects that we're looking at. Things like that we'll put inside of the resources section. This is where you'll look for links for things that we talk about. And then marketing, same idea. Uh, anything marketing, anything goes in this, Anything relevant to marketing, you put it into the anything marketing channel. And then we have specific topics that we can dive into, podcasts, traffic, affiliate marketing. And then again, marketing resources, just like Web3 resources. This is where we'll sh share links to tools and things like that that we really like to use. And that is the Discord channel as it stands now. We will be building it out. This is a community. This is something that's going to be collaborative. So inside of the general chat, we're going to be asking you guys, what sort of features do you want us to add to the Discord? Are there any other channels that you want us to talk more about? And we'll add those channels to have discussions. Are there any links, any videos that you guys have seen? We want this to be a collaborative 
collaborative community. It's not going to just be a Matt and Joe broadcast to you guys in this community. We want everybody to interact. If you if somebody asks an NFT question and you have expertise on NFTs, answer the question. Jump in. You know, we're all kind of at the same level trying to rise ships together. That's really the goal of a community like this inside of Discord is when we learn something really cool, we want to be able to come into the Discord and be like, hey, you guys should check this out. This is something really exciting that we're getting into. We want to point you in that direction. And we're hoping as a member of the community, you'll do the same kinds of things. Hey guys, this is something really cool that I just found. Here's a video on it. Everybody should go check it out. Let's build a community where we're all sharing cool things that we're coming across, cool marketing ideas, cool web three technologies that are coming out. Let's share and rise all these ships together. That's why we built this Discord. We're really, really excited. There's already some great engagement over here going on. Uh, the community's growing really, really fast and we're really excited for the potential and uh, the roadmap that we've got for this Discord community. Again, we're probably not gonna be doing a whole lot over in the Facebook group anymore. A lot of the engagement, a lot of what we share, a lot of what we're working on is going to be happening over in this Discord group from here on out. So make sure if you wanna follow along with what we're doing and you wanna learn from us and learn the types of things we're into right now, make sure you're in this Discord group. All right, hustleandflowchart.com slash Discord. That's where you can sign up for it. That will redirect you to the join link. Make sure you download Discord before you do that and you'll be good to go. And we're looking forward to chatting with you in the community. See you guys soon.